left. <laughs> so I love trying it out on usually you know rough horse or um, cold press, but sometimes hot press. I love trying it on canvas, mat boards, rice paper, pasta paper, you name it. So Yupo paper is just another uh, a branch to try out, and it's so exciting. They have been using it in um, America for the past 15 years. It's only just sort of hitting Australia in the last few years. But you've done that with a loose, loose background and then lifted out the white flowers and repainted the centers in later on. Because you're just letting the watercolour do most of the magic. That helps. Uh, so if you want fluidity, you want movement, you want excitement, you want uh, vibrant colours, uh, or on the other hand, you want to be able to lift out your eyes. It's so much fun for that. Blue, certain yellows. So obviously, you can really get some fluidity happening. Now, when I mentioned that you can um, wipe it back to the um, sorry, just something out there. Uh, to the white of the paper. That's depending on whether you have used a staining colour. Let's just try it out. I actually like um, trying to let it do things that I haven't got control over. What's that? It moves. It's exciting. I love it. I want to put it up in your tail. You don't like something? Well, just wipe it off and lift it back. Even those bits I like. Anyway, uh, it's really exciting. 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 There you go, look at that. Oh, isn't that fun? Just tell me to stop in colours. So, oh, look at that. Oh, I actually love what's happening there by itself. And sometimes you can have in your mind one thing and the paper does something else. So change your mind, not try to force your idea onto your paper. If I wiped it back with a dry tissue, you know, oh, no, that's not the sort of cloud I want. I didn't want it, oh, maybe, oh, oh, no, I didn't want that either. It doesn't matter, you can just go back in and have another play and while it's still there. So soft stuff, um, even in normal watercolour, you know, hard edges, dry paper, soft edges, water has to be involved somewhere, either food. Hey, I should stick my thumb on just to show you how greasy it can get. Yeah, see that? It's resisting the paint. All I did was just touch it. I like a bit of variety. Oh, actually, we've got trees growing on the top of that. I might leave there. there. So you can see you can get hard edges, dry paper. Cutting around there. Oh, that's pushed the paint in there between the hard edge spatter and the stuff where it was wetter and it hit and it's pushed out these little ooh, mushrooms or something. Who knows what they are? Tissue, I'll do it down here. And I lift. I will get a fuzzy edge rather than a really hard edge. Now that's great if you want a fuzzy edge. I think I did this on the edge of a protea flower, you know, got a really fuzzy fit. But you might not want a fuzzy edge. It's pink. You know how I love pink? That's one. Oh, yeah. Ooh, you know that? Running. I just want to go So I can get a hard edge. Uh, where I want, you know, peaks or whatever. Oh, that's a bit samey. And like I said, I might even leave some of that stuff that's bleeding there and just let it do that. Or if I want a harder edge, soak it up. Oh, I had a nice little shadow there and I just lost it. Oh, I'll do it now. Oh, and I actually quite like this this bit of orange that's down there looks like a bit like the tail. So once again, if I say there I wanted to lift out a light, I can't. It's, it's, it, I, might, I can't get out soft edge, I'm only going to get hard edges. So I've got to decide whether I want to do that or not. Maybe one there. And it's just running around along those little rivulets from the spatter. Um, and then I can let that dry. And then I can paint watercolour over it. But I'm not like that. I love watercolour. <laughs> so you can see how I can get back all, you know, lift out some light trees or whatever. One up over there, maybe on the side of that rock. Oh, I might actually move that little 